Welcome back everyone to video number 14 in our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. So we finished off our previous video by having a great finish at the Black Sea GP, our very first race of the year. Here you can see our uh, finishing positions. So it went much better than I would have expected. Uh, one thing I did want to go ahead and show you, uh, as I do from time to time, that you know while I have no plans of leaving ZRT Motorsport and, and plan to take this team through up to Tier 2 and then finally Tier 1 with hopes of winning the title there, you can see there are many, many available spots. We have three spots now available within uh, our current tier, which is the European Racing Series. A couple of positions open within the Tier 2 Series, and then finally one that is available in Tier 1. Okay, let's get to some email. All right, so now this is something I expected. Um, Sergio, with his level of unhappiness or low morale, he hates driving for this team, so he's going to be listening for other offers. Now, why does that matter for us? Well, of course, he's a good driver, no doubt. Not quite as good as Rodriguez, but he's a good driver. So let's take a look at some other emails, and then there's, some, there's one other screen I want to show you that relates to that. Okay, so we've got, you know, as far as how far did our car degrade, you know, basically around 50% in that first one. And we've got a performance increase. Our engine is now done. So we have an engine performance of 57 out of possible 66, but only reliability of 40. Okay, but before we check out our car, let's go into our drivers. Here's the interesting thing here. So while I definitely don't want him to be unhappy, because unhappiness leads to worse performance. He does have 21 months left on his contract, so if he does leave, they're going to have to pay us $2.1 million. So I'm not terribly heartbroken. Um, and add to that the fact that we will be able to find another driver, hopefully roughly equivalent to what Rafael is giving us here. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and scout a few drivers. You can see some of them that we've scouted in the past have already been picked up. All right, let's take a glance here at some new drivers. Let's go ahead and scout. We've got three empty slots, so I'm going to go ahead and fill those up with basically the first three I come to. These are going to be young drivers, which is perfectly fine with me because a young driver will, will be somebody that can grow with the team. We've already got one very established, great driver. So if we had an, another young driver to bring on that had very high potential, then as we upgrade our, our HQ, then we can really bring that type of a driver along. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we won't lose Sergio, but you just never know. All right. Now, let's with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the car. First, we need to fit our new engine. And you can see here, the new engine is not a huge improvement. It's a nice improvement, but not huge. So we're going to go ahead and auto-fill this. So Sergio will get that one. And for now, we'll see if we can get him a little bit happier. So what do we need to work on next? Well, our brakes are terrible. So we need to work on brakes. We also need to work on our gearbox. You can see everything else is a spec part. So that, in, if anything, helps us out a little bit. So we're pretty close here on the gearbox. Neither one of them is very good. Um, now, they've also got some, um, uh, not necessarily improvements, but they've got some repairs to do there so keep that in mind as we're seeing these numbers so really our performance numbers we need to work on uh, much better brakes now here's the thing with developing new parts if i want both of the cars to have an equal engine then i'm going to have to develop that engine that same engine yet again uh, but this time make it a little bit better than 57 hopefully and then we would have even better but for now we need to upgrade our brakes because this is a huge huge disparity here and it's probably having a lot to do with why he is so angry okay so with that in mind let's come over to our design and design our brakes okay so how do we want to go here well as i've mentioned before our reliability is terrible but we're going to work on that uh, using our additional staff so what i'm going to do here is max out our or not max out but uh, work on maximizing our performance Right now we have a max of 77. Okay, we can increase that to 97 and 88 out of 97. So that is a huge increase. So from 68 to 88. 
So that's going to be a huge increase and we'll get us much closer to where we want to go. And then the next time we work on breaks, we will be able to use some of the good traits. Okay, this is going to cost us uh, a little over half a million dollars and should be ready 19 days before the race. That is excellent and what we are looking for. So let's go ahead and pay that. Again, everything takes money, so we're down to 4.3 million right now. All right, so they're not working right now because they're working on re repairing the car and not improving the parts. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Okay, let's see what our mail is. Car repair is now finished. So we can come back in to our car screen. Our next race is in 23 days. So in four days, our new brakes will be ready. That is excellent. And that will enable us to further increase additional parts. So what do we want to work on now? All right, right now, let's see, 12 days after race, we still don't have, let's see, let's auto fill here. Nope, I do not want to do that. I do want them to work on things, but uh, let's see, what happens if we swap these out? Okay, there we go. So that's a much better option for reliability. All right, so they are working on both brakes. I don't need you to do that. Um, I need you to work on not this one, the one with 60% reliability and only six performance. Do not work on that one. In fact, what I need you to work on is reliability here for this particular engine. We're going to need that going forward. All right, we need reliability for everything, really, but but particularly here with these parts. All right, so we're going to get better brake reliability as well as some engine reliability. Okay, and we can see five more weeks for our factory to be upgraded, and then we can start work on some other things. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward. Here we go. We can see that, uh-oh, we got leaked information. This is never good. All right, so we got a disaster. All right, so Rachel, one of our... Man, one of our uh, crew chiefs is trying to sneak information out of the garage. And let's see. She might have been going to leak it to some other teams. All right, so now what do we do? Well, unfortunately here, I don't see any way around this. So, Rachel, if we come back to our staff. Okay, Rachel is here. Uh, and I'm going to have to fire her. We can't have information leaving the garage. So, you know, there's really no way around this, I don't think. But we're going to have to fire her. Okay, and of course the replacement is no good. All right, so let's go ahead and confirm that. And so now we've got a replacement in here. That's not good. Uh, so let's go ahead and do some scouting. Okay, we've got, oh, that's right, we've got three here. So let's go ahead into race mechanics and see all of them. And let's see if we can find the very best available. All right, let's see. Actually, before I do that, we need to come back in here and see. All right, 75000 per race is what we're paying here. And let's see, a long-term contract, and she's got what type of bonuses? Eighth or above, and it would be 27000 okay? We need to keep these numbers in mind as we look at signing uh, a new one. Okay, so let's take a look here. And wow, some very good numbers there. Very high. Let's see if we approach them. They're not interested. Okay, that's kind of what I expected to see. Okay, and so now let's work our way down the list. And okay, not interested. The joys of being in a third tier team. Let's go ahead and move down just a little bit more. Okay, approach. Interested. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look. And, okay, I like what I see here on numbers. Very good. So let's go ahead and start the negotiations. All right, wages are fairly important. He wants a long-term contract. I see no problem with that. And I like a nice signing, uh, sign-on bonus. Okay, no problem. Bonus size is very important. Okay, so let's go ahead and 
Let's start with 79,000. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and make it 86. That's not a huge difference, and it's not going to make the difference between uh, us making or losing money at a race. So we'll go ahead and increase that a little bit. And long-term contract, sign-on bonus. Uh, that's actually a good question. What is the highest that you can do? 112,000. That's actually not a huge deal. We'll come down a little bit. And then if you finish... Eighth, we'll go ahead and match what the other bonus was. So that'd be a nice size bonus to your income per race for sure. All right, so we're going to go ahead and send that offer in. Come back to our mailbox. Okay, so this is an absolute joke, blah, blah, blah. All right. So who knows if we made the the right choice or not, but I feel like we did. All right, so the brakes are done. So the first build of our new brakes are on the car. Let's see if that moves us up any. Nope, we're still last. So, okay, let's go ahead and fit the car so you can see the brakes up here. Let's auto fill there. So now Sergio is content. This will help. Okay, he doesn't like the overall performance of the car. We got that. But now, He's getting a little bit better, so we'll see if we can keep him around a little bit longer. Uh, if we can, that's awesome. If we can't, then, you know, again, so be it. All right, so what do we want to work on now? So we've got two, again, these aren't wonderful by any stretch of the imagination. Um, let's see, what do we want to work on? We want to work on, I believe I want to go back to engines. Um, I want to work on gearboxes as well, so it's really hard for me to make these decisions. Uh, we're getting ever closer here, four weeks there. Let's come back to our car and design a new part. Okay, and let's see. What are the prices on these? 12 days. All right, so either one of these will actually be done in time for the next race. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the engine. The engine is hugely important. So we've got two slots here to deal with. Okay, if I do this and add uh, five days additional time, then we get an additional good slot instead of having one good or one average and one good. So one thing I do not want to do, I want to stay away from any risk of breaking the rules. As you can see here, our risk right now is none. I want to keep it that way. All right, let's go ahead and increase our top speed. Reliability is still going to be terrible. And what else do we want to do down here? All right, build time, add two days and get more top speed. All right, what would that do? That would give us 77 out of 101. Very nice. Uh, and that would give us 106. Okay. And we're staying away from that. Okay, and we don't have any use for that. All right, we could always use an additional one of these, but I really don't feel like that's in our best interest. So, 66 is the max right now on this engine. We can go to 101 and have 77 there. Okay, so I think we're going to go here. It doesn't quite get us as uh, near as much on our uh, top end, but I like the fact we can improve this up to 101, and I think that will be great going forward for us. Okay, and so we get it done one day before the race. Again, the reliability is going to be terrible on it, but... That is the price of doing business, and we are quickly spending money. All right, so HQ is going. We're working on parts. Let's go ahead and continue. And we're about to hear back on our contract proposal. Okay, with that in mind, let's see. That's what the staff is about. So the contract offer was accepted. Excellent. Let's get this thing signed. I agree. So let's go ahead and sign that. And we're going to go ahead and terminate Hugh. Okay, so now we have two, what I consider to be very good, consider we're tier three, remember that. All right, we're going to have two very good race mechanics. And, okay, so that takes care of that. Let's go back to our car because this will affect the improvements on our car. So let's see what happens. So reliability, if we swap these out. Okay, so it really doesn't seem to affect very much at all there. 
Okay, but he's going to be working on our new engine. Uh, let's go ahead and keep that as is, I suppose. Because I'm not too terribly worried about performance right now. Reliability is where it's at. Okay, with that in mind, let's go ahead and fast forward. We've got the upper tier, uh, tier one teams that have a race that we, quite frankly, don't care about. Okay, so for our second event of the season, we're still going to have terrible reliability, but we're making gains in the overall performance, which we can then increase in reliability and be in much better shape than we are now. Okay, so looks like performance work is about to be done. Okay, and now our new engine is done as well. Okay, let's take a look at our emails. Performance work is finished, and our new engine build is finished as well. Okay, let's go to our car and fit these new parts on here. All right, and let's go ahead and auto fill that. So again, very low reliability, but this is where we just have to deal with it. Now we're gonna have much better reliability here in this engine, but we're trying to keep Sergio happy for the time being. I know this makes Rafael mad, but with good finishes in time, we can mend a whole bunch of problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and that out of the way. Let's come back to our, let's see, where are we at on the HQ? Okay, two weeks, so we're nearly there. Let's go ahead and design a new part, and let's go ahead and get started on gearboxes. Okay, again, we're, we're using this money very quickly. All right, so we want to add, let's add... 25 to the max here. It's going to cost us a little over a million. And let's go ahead and get started. Confirm that. Okay. So with that in mind, we are almost ready to race. Let's go ahead and hit continue there. We're still going to stick with the 10th or above. And which is going to be very nice. We're going to make 300,000 even if we don't finish there, but nice 722,000 if we do. So let's go ahead and fit these parts. This should already be done. We're just going to make sure. Okay, everything is good with the spec parts. Now we're good here. And let's see. Oh, that makes him angry. We're going to try to keep him at least a little bit contented. All right. But as I mentioned before, um, even if he shows up at this race and uh, is extremely angry and ends up leaving the team, um, he's going to have to pay us about $2 million and we'll find a new driver. So I'm not terribly concerned about it. But at the same time, I do not like turnover. So if we can find good drivers and put them in good cars, I will be happy. All right. So we are ready to go. We've chosen our sponsor. We've chosen our parts. It's race time. Here we are at the race getting our setups ready. You can see there's some rain here on the lens. Uh, it's raining right now, but the forecast is hard to tell. It almost looks like it's going to stop. You can see the dampness goes down on the track, so I'm sticking with soft, uh, the soft tires for the dry weather. Here you can see my setup. Uh, didn't have a whole lot of luck with setup here. You can see ended up with 89 percent so I had some bars some information from the other car and so this is what I ended with of course using the soft tires and fill it full of fuel again this is going to be very tough to make it the full distance on fuel okay then we come in here is our second setup with Rodriguez and a couple of excellence there so we were at 94 percent and I haven't changed anything there not quite as high as I would prefer it but again, um, doing the best we can here. So again, seven laps here. And we're trying to go 17 laps, which means that I need to go nine and eight laps. <laughs> wow. That's going to be very hard to do. And of course, that assumes that the weather behaves for us. Our driver's strategy as normal is low. And we'll have to see how the tire heat works out for us all right so here we go we're going to start i would imagine third and fifth once again 
No, we're starting. That's right. I forgot. We finished very well with Rodriguez. So he's going to start at the very back of the pack. Okay, so we'll follow Sergio here. And let's go ahead and cause him, let's have him push. I really want him to get his tires up to temp. That would be excellent if he could get it. Because, and the reason being, the tire temps are huge uh, because they affect the wear of the tire and you want the tires to wear as optimally as you possibly can. So now we're running second and 20th. All right, so we've, we've fallen to last place there with Rodriguez. And now, boy, those long straightaways, we just get crushed. Now we're back to fourth. All right, so he wants to come in for enters. I am not interested, definitely not interested in that, seeing that the dampness on the track is going to go down. We'll follow the weather more as the race continues. But for now, I'm definitely not interested in that. Okay, so we're running fourth. Looks like we're about to lose that. We've got a conga line forming behind us here so that means we're holding up progress for these guys um, also we're gonna have to keep an eye on the condition you can see we're gonna have some low parts here on both cars that we're gonna have to deal with so 30 percent and actually that may be it okay so we're in good shape on one of the cars as far as uh, our conditioning but on poor Sergio's car he is gonna have a rough time and spend a lot of time in pit lane I believe Okay, so we've got 14 laps remaining. Wow, this is going to be very difficult. I'm not sure we're going to make nine and eight laps on this stint. Okay, if we take a look at the tire wear, looks like we're heating up the tires a little bit more than I would like on Sergio's car, so I'm going to back him off a little bit. Okay, so now we've got gear shift or gear box ear issues with both cars and that was to be expected because that's our worst part here and we got issues with the brakes as well but we already knew we were going to have to to fix those all right so here we are lap five and we've got pit stops going on we knew that was coming so that's no surprise to us okay the main thing for us is fuel we don't have the speed but we are hoping to get fuel mileage uh, so far, we've been able to get very close. We made it in the first race with, with Rodriguez, but we did not make it with Sergio. I'm hoping to change that this time. Uh, they're very close on fuel usage. We're at 2.19, 2.3. So, so far, so good there. And Sergio is really, really liking his time out front here. You can tell he is. When you get in clean air with these cars, you're able to really put down some good lap times. Uh, the problem is that's at expense of a little bit of fuel. So he's going to have to come in. Uh, we're going to have to divide these up pretty good, and I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Uh, so we're going to have him come in. Let's see. Let's go ahead and have him pit. Yeah, he is. Okay, let's go. we're going to go ahead, and do we want him to pit here? Uh, yes, let's let's go ahead and have him one one more lap. So no, no pit here. We can make one more lap. Yes, ignore that. We're gonna have them both pit the next time by. Uh, what I was looking at is I think we've got enough of a gap here to be okay, but we shall see. All right, looking at our forecast, don't don't see any rain in the future. So we're gonna go ahead and stay on the same tires. Let's fill him up with fuel. And again, we're gonna be very close. On this, we're going to have to fix. Uh, wow. Okay, this is going to mess us up really bad on pit strategy because that's a lot of time in pit lane uh, to fix that car. All right, and so we're going to go ahead and have him pit. And then we're going to watch Rodriguez. And the reason I want to watch Rodriguez is because, well, never mind. His fuel is also low, so we're going to have no choice. So I've backed myself into a corner with our strategy. So let's go ahead and... Fill it up full of fuel and our parts. Let's go ahead and fix the one part for him. Everything else looks like it's going to be fine for the remainder of the race. And let's have them go ahead and take some risks here. I think we're going to have to take some risks in order to uh, get things done. So let's hope we've got enough time. We need Sergio to get into the pits here. 
as quickly as possible and get the work done as quickly as possible. All right, so we're finishing up lap eight. We're on lap nine, and here comes our second car. And he's going to have to wait. Uh, that is terrible strategy, but unfortunately, I just didn't have any way around it. Okay, so now we are coming out in 13th with Sergio. And we're going to be very close on making this on fuel. We're coming out 18th here. Remember, we need to finish 10th. Okay, so looks like our weather is good. As far as we can tell anyway. And it's going to be close on fuel. I think we're going to make it, but it's going to be close. Now, you see that we're running way up or way down low now, but you can see that these other cars are going to start coming in. And as they start coming in, that's going to help us uh, in our finishing position. Okay, so we're in ninth and 18th. And you can see Rodriguez is a good bit behind. We'll see how many places he's able to make up as the pit stops continue. So it looks like we had one, maybe one or two come into the pits that time. So Sergio picks up right there to eighth we're still running 18th with rodriguez and he is a good bit behind all right fuel is the name of our game here okay he's talking about condition issues all right so he's got 30 percent left i think we're okay to the end of the race boy i can't wait till we can get some reliability built into these parts so we don't have to worry about this anymore okay sergio is up to seventh now, Rodriguez still in 18th. Again, these pit stops are killer um, if you're in the right position. We can really make up some spots, but when you're not in the right position, you can really get hurt from this. All right, so far, so good. Remember, we need to finish at least one car, 10th or higher, and we're running sixth with some other guys on our tail, but we got pit stops coming. I believe for at least a few of these cars in the near future. So we got four laps remaining and neither one of our cars look like they're going to make it. Wow, this is this is bad. Let's go ahead and conserve. And we are going to try to make this if at all possible. I'm just not sure that Sergio is going to have enough fuel to do it. And we're at a time now where even if we decided to have him come in, which I may do here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pause this. And what is his condition? Okay, you're just going to have to live with that. Let's have you come in. And the only thing we're going to do is get you a... Okay, it says we can last 1.81 laps. Never mind. We're going to take a chance. Okay, so, boy, we are going to be close. All right, Rodriguez is running 12th now after the pit stop cycle, but he's got several people on his tail. Okay, we're up to third. Again, more pit stops. So third and 12th, Sergio, who, which is who we're following on the track here. All right, it says, wow, that was horrible. Okay, so we're going to have to come in for him. We have no choice. All right, so we're going to have to come in, and boy, do I hate doing that. We're not going to change anything. We're going to add one lap of fuel, and he will be here just barely enough time to get that done. So we'll lose whatever time for the Delta for him to slow down on pit road, but that should be it. Maybe we can still get inside that top 10. It's going to be extremely close, though. I'm not sure we can get this done. All right, here he is. So he stops just long enough to do that. He's 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and let's see, where is 10th? 10th is behind him. Okay, so now we pick up a spot there to 8th. All right, not bad. Rodriguez, in the meantime, is out of fuel. All right, so he's going to fall through the field so it, our gamble did not work for him in the meantime we're up to seventh with sergio 
and we're coming to the end of the race so it looks like we're going to make our goal of 10th or better all right excellent so we finished seventh there and we're trying to finish can we finish 15th yes we're going to finish 15th with rodriguez and you can tell by his comment here that wasn't terrible so we're dealing with sergio here and his very low morale and really i think that comes down to the fact that if we look at his traits he's a bit of a diva so you know he likes to be petted he likes to have the best of everything and not have to work hard for it and i think we're seeing that bear itself out in his morale numbers so we finished seventh and 15th again not going to set the world on fire for sure but at the same time it is a decent result given where we're trying to finish okay let's go ahead and work our way through here scrutineering no problem here for us and i like to keep it that way i'm not sure how long we'll be able to do that but for now anyway Okay, so our driver championship, we're down to sixth with Rafael and up to 16th here with Sergio. But the big deal is the team championship, and we are still just barely ahead here. So you can see a couple, just one point or two points would take us down all the way to eighth. But then again, we're also within range of the top tier, uh, at least through about third, I would say. Okay, let's go ahead and flip through these screens and get to the important screen that we're looking for, which is the morale. And then finally the money. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So a, a small increase in morale, not much. Uh, the good thing is we keep our morale pretty high with Raphael. And then we are working with a brand new, uh, I want to call them crew chiefs because that's what they are in NASCAR, but a new mechanic here. So we're increasing our relationship there. Okay, over to our chairman. We were expected to finish sixth. That's end of the year. We came in sixth, so that's good. Happiness stays as is and no change to marketability. Okay, and now we come into our financial breakdown screen and you can see we made 682,000 this race. That is tremendous. I count this as a very good result. Once again, given where our car performance is. Thank you once again for joining me in our Let's Play for Motorsport Manager.